welcome back to another edition of Grill and Thrill. Uh, before we get started, got to crack one. I cracked a couple of these last night during the cook. Tried to do the intro afterwards. Didn't turn out too well. You guys would have laughed. Got bored, unsubscribed, whatever. So we're going to try this again uh, when we're a little bit sober. Anyway. Uh, the cook was a black kettle chicken, uh, you know, done in a Dutch oven, cast iron Dutch oven. Uh, I was going to do it over a straight campfire out in the burn pit there, but it was raining. So I just made a fire in the grill and then uh, cooked it right there underneath the tent thing so you could enjoy and see what happens. Uh, not going to talk much more. Would you get right to the video? Let me know what you think in the comments. Try this recipe. It was really good. Uh, chicken was really nice and tender. Came right off the bone for you. It was perfect. So here it is. Black kettle chicken. Check it out. All right, guys. So let's get this started. <clears throat> First thing you got to have, of course, is your kettle. This is a cast iron kettle. Uh, not much more to say about that. These are some Cornish game hens. That I've had soaking in oil and uh, just garlic, salt, and pepper. We'll get these guys sitting right up in here. Maybe. Now I had these soaking for about an hour. Something like so. All right. Then I've got, as you guys can see, a bunch of little baby onions, baby taters, red and white, and some chopped mushrooms. I'm just going to put them in there. Gonna add two cans of beef or chicken stock. A little bit of taste. All right, now we're going to cover this up and we're going to put her on the fire. Okay, so as you see, I have a fire going in my grill. Uh, only because it's raining out, I was going to do it over in the fire pit. But uh, I just didn't want to ruin the cook for you guys. So I went ahead and made a fire in my grill. And we're just going to pretend that that was actually a fire pit. So we're going to go ahead. Dutch oven cooking is done from the top in all reality. Okay, that's why it's it's a, it's an oven. A little bit of coals on the bottom. Go ahead, set your Dutch oven right in there on top of the coals. And you take your chimney full of charcoal, set it right on the lid. That's what it's made for. It's nice and heavy duty. And this is gonna cook all that food from the top down. If you guys don't know what this is, this is called a chimney. And I will show you in another video how to use that. People are always asking me, what is that thing? So we'll check back in about an hour. All right guys, so it's been just over one hour. As you can see, most of the coals are uh, gone, dead. Go ahead and knock some of them off there. Let me show you what we got. Ah, oh, look at that. Ain't that pretty? 
Check our chicken temperature. That's actually climbing up there. Oh, look at that. Right at 165. Yeah, 170. 165. There we go. That's done, guys. So, that's how you do it. You can do it over a campfire. You can build a fire in your grill. Get her done. It's going to taste great. We'll catch you All next right, guys, time. guys, there you have it. Black kettle chicken or Dutch oven chicken, however you want to put it. Uh, again, it was really good, really tasty. Fell right off the friggin' bone. The taters were cooked perfect. They were like almost, well, they were. They were a baked potato. Um, the onions were nice and tender. They weren't burnt. Oh, guys, you've got to try it. I'm telling you, you'll love it. Till next time, crack one. Pack one, drill and thrill.